Today I'm going to be talking about a new robot prototype that looks like Wall-E, the adorable robot from the Disney Pixar movie. This robot is created by Disney Research, and it is able to walk on two legs, balance itself, and perform various motions without falling over. It is also 3D printed and has a modular design that allows it to be customized with different parts and accessories. What is Wall-E? Wall-E is a fictional character from the 2008 Disney Pixar animated feature film of the same name. He is a waste collector drone who has achieved sentience, and he is the only one still functioning on Earth after humans have left the planet due to pollution. He is a small mobile compactor box accompanied by his cockroach friend Hal. He is extremely curious, highly inquisitive, and a little lonely. He falls in love with Eve, an advanced probe droid who is sent to Earth to look for signs of life. Wally -E is one of the most popular and beloved characters in Pixar history. He has won many awards and accolades, such as the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, the Golden Globe Award for Best Animated Feature Film, and the BAFTA Award for Best Animated Film. He has also been ranked as one of the greatest movie characters of all time by various media outlets. How does the Wall E robot prototype work? The Wall E robot prototype is a project by Disney Research, which is a network of research labs that collaborate with academic institutions to create innovative technologies for Disney's media and entertainment businesses. The Wall E robot prototype is part of Disney Research's efforts to create lifelike characters that can interact with guests in the parks. The Wall E robot prototype works by using a technique called bipedal locomotion. This technique allows the robot to walk on two legs, balance itself, and perform various motions without falling over. The robot uses sensors, actuators, and algorithms to control its movements and stability. The robot also has a camera and a microphone to detect its surroundings and communicate with humans. The Wall-E robot prototype is also 3D printed and has a modular design that allows it to be customized with different parts and accessories. The robot can also be programmed to perform different tasks and behaviors. What are the benefits of the Wall-E robot prototype? First, the robot can be used as an attraction or a character in Disney's theme parks, resorts, attractions, and cruise ships. The robot can interact with guests and provide them with a memorable and magical experience. Second, the robot can be used as a research platform for studying bipedal locomotion and human-robot interaction. The robot can help researchers understand how robots can walk on two legs, balance themselves, and perform various motions without falling over. The robot can also help researchers understand how humans react to robots and how robots can communicate with humans. Third, the robot can be used as an educational tool for teaching children about robotics, engineering, science, and technology. The robot can inspire children to learn more about how robots work and how they can create their own robots. What are the limitations of the Wall-E robot prototype? First, the robot is not fully autonomous. It still requires human supervision and control to operate safely and effectively. Second, the robot is not very expressive. It does not have facial expressions or emotions like the Wall-E character from the movie. It also does not have a voice or a personality. Third, the robot is not widely available. It is still a prototype that is being tested and improved by Disney Research. It is not clear when or if it will be released to the public. Comparison with other robots. There are a number of other robots that are similar to the Wall-E robot prototype in some ways. For example, Honda's Asimo. This is a humanoid robot that can walk on two legs, run, jump, climb stairs, kick a ball, and recognize faces and voices. Boston Dynamics Spot. This is a dog-like robot that can walk on four legs, navigate rough terrain, carry loads, open doors, and avoid obstacles. Softbanks Pepper. This is a social robot that can interact with humans using speech, gestures, emotions, and touch. The Wall-E robot prototype differs from these robots in some ways as well. For example, the Wall-E robot prototype is more compact and lightweight than Asimo. The Wall-E robot prototype is more stable and agile than Spot. The Wall-E robot prototype is more customizable and modular than Pepper. The Wall-E robot prototype is a very impressive project by Disney Research. It shows how Disney uses technology and creativity to create lifelike characters that can interact with guests in the parks. 
It also shows how Disney contributes to the advancement of robotics, engineering, science, and technology. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the Wall E robot prototype. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.